Hi my loves, thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for all signs, all right? If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, thank you so much for all of your continued love and support. I really do appreciate it. So this is a timeless collective reading, okay? Um, keep in mind, this could be your story or this could be the story of someone who is in your energy knowingly or unknowingly. This may be past, present, or future. Please do not pay too close attention to the signs or the gender as those do not matter when it comes to energy. Time is an illusion, okay? This could just give you clarity or perhaps confirmation about something, but hopefully it just gives you a bit of a peace of mind to have this awareness about a particular situation, okay? Also, the roles could be reversed. He could be a she, she could be a he. Only take the messages that resonate with you. This could be related to friends, family, lovers, work, career, finances, anything, okay? So let's just see. Um, I literally was <laughs> just like spending time with spirit and I saw this deck. I haven't used this deck in some time now, but I saw this deck. It was two specific decks that I saw in my mind's eye. So let's see what the message is. So at the bottom of the deck here is the emperor. Interesting. Emperor, knight of wands and the devil. Wow. Knight of Cups is in the reverse and Justice, King of Swords. So somebody here has for sure gotten caught, okay? Somebody here has gotten caught. There's a plan here. I feel like somebody took action at doing something here. Someone here got stuck in their, their, their there's a power trip here. Um, someone has been stuck in their ego, but they, someone's ego has made them very, very immature. Um, someone's very, this is a very toxic, distorted, masculine energy. This has gotten someone stuck. I feel like someone here, this Knight of Cups, if you notice, this Knight of Cups is here and they're walking, but they're on this horse in the reverse. Someone here is extremely egotistical and, and, and entitled. And what has happened is this person thought that they were going to be able to come towards you or make something happen despite their low vibrational energy they thought that something was i'm hearing in the bag and it wasn't because justice was served has already been served in this situation something is balanced out the king of swords here for some this could be um a past on loved one it's a divine masculine energy this could um sometimes to me the emperor the king of swords could be archangel michael but this could definitely be like some type of divine helper bodyguard type of energy here where it's like a person yeah this is this is divine judgment when you see the king of swords and the justice here there could be someone who has libra highly aspected in their chart okay but someone here has come in to balance out the scale so that you can have a brand new beginning here so you're moving on now to peaceful calm waters because a cycle here has closed out this to me feels like someone is what i call a repeat offender someone here has done something multiple times and i feel like they were very flamboyant um and in this like ego where they feel like well yeah i have this in the bag this is gonna work because it has worked before they've done it before but no it didn't work because the cycle here is already closed you've already cleared away some type of karmic debt or a, a mindset here there's some type of toxic connection here where someone has i feel somebody um it's like something perhaps from your past where someone in the past was able to connect to you. This could have been because of a toxic mindset, something that happened in your past, in your childhood. For some of you, someone was even able to connect themselves to um, some type of low vibrational toxic energy that you were carrying within your, your bloodline. There could have been a generational hex or curse or something like that. And it's something that, you know, it's it's embedded in your bloodline and your DNA. And someone has been able to attach themselves to pretty much like the sins, the iniquities, the unhealthy choices of like your foremothers, forefathers. They were attached to that energy. Um, this was an energy that you were in in the past, most likely. Uh, but now that you come into this, uh, this awakening or this awareness here, you're seeing the truth about a situation. Look at this, you guys. <laughs> Look, that's why when, when Spirit shows me a deck to use, it's always a message. You see here the tower, but this is a double tower. This this deck is a double major arcana deck or something like that. So there's two towers here. Someone here, they caused a tower 
this tower was meant to destroy you and what it did is i feel like it backfired this person is now trying to come in before you see they were walking they were all flamboyant thought that they had something together this person is now probably trying to come towards you with some type of peace offering they, they want to make amends now because whatever tower this is that they thought that they were going to destroy or this person wanted to destroy your foundation in some way. Now they're seeing that um, this was very foolish. This person is seeing that everything in their life is falling apart because this person most likely was trying to come up against you because of some type of connection. Now, this doesn't have to be a romantic connection for some of you. This could be a business partnership or you simply just choosing to move in a new direction in your life here. But the King of Pentacles is here with the Emperor. So this right here definitely is giving very, very much like counterfeit person um people always say you know there's no such thing as a false twin but this is giving very much like a very karmic type of energy here that was trying to pretty much like bamboozle you so that you would not see the real the fact that there is a real connection here in front of you or coming into your life the moon card is here someone here is like a master illusionist there's a lot of chaos this person is a chaos starter okay they did something they took action 100 this person took action against you but i feel like spirit was like absolutely no look this strength here this beast it's like this is in the reverse i feel like maybe you care for this person um there's a reading that i did and i keep hearing this reading and seeing it in my my head it's probably been more than six months ago where I said that you need to go to the devil and you need to go to hell and confront the devil. And you're going to have to take this devil off of your prayer list. For some of you, it's a it's a person in your life, friend, family member. This could even be a passed on loved one that you've had in high regard. And this person has had you bound to some type of magic, perhaps. Do you see these cars coming out? This devil here is bound, okay? And this is magic in the Hierophant. So this could have been an extremely religious person. But once again here, you see the magician here is like this person is tired because whatever this person has been doing, it's not working. Once again, Archangel Michael, or there is a divine protector here that is ensuring that a divine feminine here, you get a new beginning. So someone definitely tried to do something against you and it's not working. This person um, was trying to stop you from having some type of encounter here or or um reuniting with an actual for some of you it, it, this is like a divine counterpart connection but there's an end that has been brought to this so this ending for this person is bringing about this major major transformation in your life so someone is on their way towards you here the chariot car for me i feel like for some reason this chariot right now is a marriage car for some of you you have a divine union possibly a marriage that's coming in this has already been approved by the divine yeah something here is in favor for a divine feminine here um, who most likely is a high priestess. Like you, you, you work very closely with God. Somebody wanted to for sure paint some type of illusion here. Okay. Now for some of you guys, like I said, I want you to be mindful that this does not have to be for some of you, this doesn't have to be a physical person. This for some can be a spirit. I've been saying for many weeks now, you're battling not against flesh and blood, but you're battling now against entities and principalities. For some of you, you're breaking certain generational curses. And it's sort of like you're, you're having to battle the person in your family that is responsible for connecting with some type of energy that has somehow bound you to um, some type of hex or curse in some type of way but you are very much heavily protected there is very very strong libra energy here with the taurus um i don't know why i just said taurus taurus with the empress is taurus and libra energy but for some of you this this has a lot to do with your fertility you having balance structure peace harmony and being there in this very fertile energy but you're being free now from some type of toxic energy some type of connection here um a reading a few days ago, I was saying, it's like you're getting your freedom paper. Someone wanted you enslaved, like someone wanted you to be attached to some type of energy here. And it was very demonic, very low vibrational in nature. But this is a person that is extremely just flamboyant. Like this is the kind of energy that feels that they can get away with anything. This for some of you could be a, a past, um, like a past lover. Like I said, for some of you, this person is in your life. For some of you, this is something that is in the bloodline. But I feel like the connection to the bloodline here is for some of you, this is a, a, a magician of some sort. And they have looked into 
something with your Akashic records and they knew like your pain. I'm hearing pain point. They knew your pain point. So this is someone that they knew that there was a particular. So, OK, somebody knew that you were chosen to break some type of hex or curse that is going to unlock some type of rare gift that brings about a lot of abundance for you. This person, they did not want you to unlock whatever this is. This has been the reason for them challenging you and working against you for so long is because if you were to heal to a certain level, a certain degree, you were going to unlock some type of abundance. This person wanted you to unlock something so that you would share it with them or so that they could take it from you. So this person is sort of like, um, it's very interesting what I'm seeing. It's like this person, they're manipulating energy so that you will heal. But I feel like what this person does is as you heal, um, this is definitely a narcissistic person. Like this is a kind of person who will love bomb you and they will, they will kind of get you into their den, into the lion's den by love bombing you and creating illusions for some of you. This person, you know, could be using food, drink, they're doing different things to lure you into the lion's den so that they can strike. Okay. Um, if you've ever dealt with narcissists or, or done any type of study, what they typically like to do for sure is to isolate you from people. So this is a, a spirit. This is an energy, an entity, whatever you want to refer to this, this being or this thing as, because it's a, it, it's a, there may be a person that's housing this type of spirit, but it's very demonic. What this thing is doing is it's trying to isolate. So you may be feeling like, oh, everyone is against you. You don't want to talk to anybody. You don't want to be around anybody. That's because it makes it easier for this thing to attack you. For some of you, this is just a, an extreme narcissist. OK, but narcissists are very demonic. This person is housing some type of demon. OK, they are extremely manipulative. They want you isolated. This person is constantly projecting their own thoughts, feelings and fears and emotions onto you. But the, the thing about it is this person, they're very crafty in what they're doing because this person, although they're haunting and taunting you, they want something from you. It's like this person's mind is telling them that they can pretty much emotionally abuse you. Right. But the thing is, is this is whatever this is, it's like, um, you're, you're a person like, I'm hearing counter. You're doing the counterintuitive. What they're expecting you to do intuitively is not what you're doing. And th that's what's breaking whatever this cycle is. This person doesn't understand. It's because next to this devil card here is the high priestess. And this is, this is a high priestess who is not only a high priestess because of, what they've been told this is a this is a high priestess who can see behind the veil this is not a high priestess who is only um a high priestess because of the knowledge what they read what they've seen or life experience this is a high priestess here who has lived through certain things experienced it you can tap into your past life your akashic records and you can see completely behind the veil so this person here in the past could have come to you when you were a high priestess but now you're much more evolved that's the reason why this world card is here but this if you notice is not your traditional world card you're not still in the matrix at all you're completely out of it so this this person, I feel for many of you, this is a, this a repeat offender. They've attacked you before, but when they last attacked you, you may have still been in the matrix. You're completely out of the matrix now, or you have this divine protector that has ensured that you were completely out. There is a Libra here. There's a divine judge here. There is a, somebody is like, they're the judge. They're the jury. Like they, they call the shots in the spirit realm and they're ensuring that you have justice in this situation this masculine energy though is someone who feels as though they have everything figured out they're very just flamboyant very very flamboyant this person tries to present themselves like they're charming like they're sweet they're sincere they're not this person is seducing people in the spirit to try and get whatever they want and again they're doing something with you energetically to bring your your vibration up high enough so that it's like what I'm seeing, what I'm seeing right now in my mind, this person, they bring your vibration up high enough for them to steal it. 
So this person is definitely doing a lot of moon magic. So this person will around the full moons, they will cause you to have these periods of extreme like emotional overload where you will pretty much um how can i say this you will you will purge you will purge right because by doing that it raises your vibration what this person is doing oh spirit is showing me what this person is doing they will then come in by the time the new moon comes where you have went through a cleansing process during you know the full moon because they've created these illusions, you're seeing through the illusion by the time the full, the new moon comes, when it's time for you to shift and begin to manifest, they will come in then to try and steal your energy. So this person is manipulating energy using the moons by full moon. They want you to crack up, but they want you to crack up so that you will purge something from the past. Because by the time the new moon comes, a week, you know, two weeks later, you're feeling lighter and then this person will come in once again and energetically take your energy this person has been caught doing this is what i'm saying because they're definitely like they're manipulating your energy up and down up and down and they're using the moon and and energy and metaphysics and and seduction and other things to to make this happen this person has for sure been caught though this is someone, and I talked about this a few weeks, this is someone who knows that you're like an empath, so they know that you can feel things. This person is purposely sending you energy. They're sending you energy and projecting things onto you because they want you to crack up. They want you sad, depressed. They want you to isolate, go into hermit mode so that it's easier for them to, to attack you. And then by the time the moon, new moon comes around, they come back to take your good energy. So it's sort of like this person is, is forcing you to heal because the, uh, so they're tracking you be oh my gosh this i mean this is um <laughs> this is a very smart plan this person tracks and monitors you because they're tracking and monitoring like your energy so when you're down it's like okay cool it's easy for them to cast the illusions or whatever they're doing sitting the bad energy to you and then they know that there's something in you that's going to go into survival mode where it's going to activate something that's going to make you then fight back once you get in that warrior like spirit they come in and they take that energy too so this person literally is is this person is like building you up energetically just to like make you fall to your knees later. This is really sick because this like this is the kind of person that's like Yeah. Like they're they're building you up, they're beefing you up energetically. Like this person will send you good energy. And then they will attack you so that you fall on your knees because they like to see you in that position. And then when they see you get up. They want to knock you down again. Like this, this is a game for this person. This is really sick. This is someone spiritually who is sick. Like this person, it wants to spiritually torture people. Oh my gosh. This is really, really dark. What I'm saying here is so dark. This is the kind of person, seriously. And I don't, I don't want to say, cause it's so, what I'm seeing is so graphic. It's so, so dark. Um, if I were to say the, the video would be completely just flagged, they would probably remove the video. <laughs> but you you can use your own imagination. This, this is the kind of person who, I'm telling you, they will love bomb you, come in only to hurt you. Like they get satisfaction out of coming into your life, sabotaging things and hurting you. But they do this by seducing you, love bombing you. I'm going to be really nice to you, really sweet. That's so that they can get into your energy. Once they get into your energy and they're connected, they connect to anything that's a part of your shadow. That's where the magic works here. But this person, this is not working anymore. Something here has changed with you energetically. I, I'm assuming that you just caught on to what this person is doing. 
spirit has given you like some type of download and i talked about that a few weeks ago for some of you how you typically receive messages that's not how you're receiving messages because this person they know exactly how you receive messages this person knows about your dreams they know what your spiritual gifts are they they studied you they they are completely obsessed so they know how you do everything so now this divine protector to give you justice they're coming in and they're changing everything about you they're changing how you receive messages they're changing what your primary gifts are and a lot of you need to be mindful now you need to keep this very sacred so if people know for instance just you know as an example if people know that you are a dreamer you may not be receiving dreams now but maybe there's another rare gift that you have that has activated you don't need to tell anybody about that gift because somebody has watched you or they've heard you, they've listened to you, and they know that you have a particular gift and they're trying to use it against you. Yeah, look, look at this person. Very, very immature. This person here, this person has, for, for whatever reason, what I'm getting right now is looking at this little horse in the background. This knight, this knight is not even on their horse. This is what gives them speed and momentum. And it's also, it's, to me, it's like protection. This person here has been trying to get so close to you that they have pretty much let go of their own protection. If you're out in the wild, why would you get off your horse? Why would you ever get off of your horse? This person is trying to get so close to you. They're doing things that are um, forbidden that they shouldn't be doing but it's like they keep going further and further this person is obsessed and they are they are taking several blows for doing this but it's like they're they're trying to get in closely this is like this is like somebody is like well they sent somebody to do a job that they couldn't finish so now they're like well i need to go and see for myself so this is like a person here who has cast and conjured up some type of demonic entity or spirit to come to you and they couldn't do the job and they're so like confused as to how this didn't happen look at this this person is so confused as to how you tackled or defeated whatever this is that this group this covenant um cult secret society whatever it is that they conjured up and sent to you they don't understand how they thought that you were going to be without any strength at all. They're like, they're looking at you now and you're still happy. You're still victorious. You're still tending to your garden. They're like, I don't understand. So this person is now, well, I need to get a closer look. Like, who is this person? So it's like the head of some type of group, COVID secrets, whatever. They're so shocked that something here that they have sent out and I feel worked very hard to send out. They sent something out and it didn't really do anything to you because you're not even in the matrix. So this is someone here who has created like a, a cage to put you in. And they were like, OK, I tell you what, we're going to put this drop the snakes in there. It's going to eat up this little this little mouse that we have in the cage. And they come back and there's there's nothing in the cage. You know what I'm saying? Like they're like, how did you get the key? How did you get out? You got out of something. And they don't understand how on earth did this happen? Somebody is coming back like, what is this? For somebody here, there could, um, I almost don't even want to say it. But it, it's very much like some Houdini type of, <laughs> like somebody is just like, they're here and then they're gone. Yeah, I see. Somebody can, somebody, some, some, somebody can escape things. I'll just, yeah, they're, they're truly the golden child. This is someone who was born chosen and has now tapped into some type of power, uh, an awareness, some type of rare, unique gift that allows them to honestly like disappear. So it's like somebody because I'm seeing somebody like they're shooting daggers at somebody and this is not touching them. Or it's almost like it touches them and then it just it bounces off. This is this is some type of shield of of protection. It's a gift. It's a talent. It's ability. And it's it's unknown. Like no nobody 
Nobody really can fight against it because they don't know what it is. And even if you know what it is or you may not know what it is, you don't need to say anything. Because cause it, it's, it's your secret weapon. <laughs> this, is a, this is someone's secret weapon. Someone has an ability to... I've been talking about the spiritual hitman and assassins. You 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 can't catch this person. I, this is I'm telling you, it's like the John Week in the Spirit. You can't catch this person. Is this person? This could be you, or this is someone you're dealing with. Yeah, this is like that spiritual assassin energy here. For some of you, this is if you're a feminine, you have a masculine. They're undefeated in the spirit realm. That's what I just heard. They're undefeated. If you have a group that has been working against you, a karmic person, whether it's male or female, like some kind of past life karmic situation, um, if this is an entity or whatever, there is a very, very special person here that holds you near and dear that is fighting for you. They can remove you out of things or they can eliminate anybody that tries to work against you. It's a very, very very unique type of gift that this individual that this being has it's, it's two different beings um i have a reading from a few months ago where i said for some of you you have like a warlock and a like a shaman that are fighting in the spirit for you this is especially for divine feminines whoever this warlock is or uh witch wizard warlock or whomever they're fighting against like a real divine light being here they can't they can't win this this person that's either it's you or the person that's fighting for you is so heavily protected that like nothing can nothing can block them like nothing can stop them from protecting you and that's why a lot of things is not getting to you. This person can take you out. This person can remove you from, from anything. This person, their spiritual eyes. Uh, this, this is a person who's a true, true seer. It, it's no, no coincidence that I put these owls out and I keep on being drawn to like the owls but it's also that like an eagle like an owl or an eagle i'm so sorry guys if you can hear my dryer i'm so sorry about that um this person can see so somebody here has spiritual eyes they can see things in the spirit unlike anybody else if there's some type of laser focus that a person can have i'm seeing a laser like if this because I'm seeing a divine feminine here who I feel is in the middle of this situation where you have masculines who are fighting it's almost like there's two and I have another reading about this this energy is coming out you have two mass whoever you are as this high priestess you should know that your counterpart is going to be very, very um, spiritually gifted as well. I feel like you've had, there's a counterfeit. It's just like, I always talk about like Isis and Osiris and then Seth comes in. Seth wants to take the role of Osiris. So he's coming in trying to play the role, but it's Isis knows like that's not, that, that, that's just, it'll never be. You have a person here who is coming in using a lot of trickery, magic, and creating a lot of illusions to make you see them as good and great and holy and magnificent or what, majestic or whatever because they're watching and they're tracking and they're monitoring something that you are destined to have with a particular person. Their goal is to take it for themselves, just like Seth. Seth wanted to be king. He wanted to have Osiris's 
seat on the throne and he was able to take it. But it's like divine feminine. You're going to have to keep fighting by healing yourself. Um, because it's like you're masculine for some of you, whether you know this person physically or not, energetically, you're, they're aware of you, even if you're not quite aware of them. Somebody is, is ensuring that you're safe and protected because it's sort of like you're their way out. If that makes sense. Like this person right now is like casted out for, for you're the only person that can get them out of of whatever they're in for them to come into the fit like a physical union with you're gonna have to heal them by understanding that you're fighting up against something that um is very dark and that there's an illusion here but there's like a very powerful spirit god or an angel or something that is removing you out of this matrix or whatever this illusion is so that you can see the truth because there is a true like masculine here somebody keeps on trying to like track you and this person they're watching and monitoring you and so somebody is all up in your like akashic records like they this person knows everything about your family. They know everything about your divine counterpart. They know everything. And this is the problem. This person is very, very skilled. But this person has done a lot of really dark and shady things to get this level of skill. They were not born with it. This person made sacrifices for whatever skill that they have to be able to do this, but you can never, you can never like this, this type of energy, this, um, this like divine being here, whether it's you or a counterpart, like they can't be duplicated or replicated. And I feel like that's what somebody here has been trying to shape shift into the energy of somebody else in hopes to trick you. But you cannot, you cannot fool, like there is no way you're going to always know that this, that energy is off. You're going to always know. So somebody here is doing a lot of, you know, of course, magic, shape shifting. They're trying to take on the energy of a real counterpart. And it's very clear, like when you're dealing with this person, you can just tell like mm, something here isn't right. It's because, oh man, I have a reading about that. You guys, you can check out my playlist because a lot of those readings, I um, put them in a playlist. It's like over 30 readings that's tracking this. A lot of this stuff is old, but what's the reason why it's coming out now is because these rituals and practices that people did in the past that were forbidden, they're doing them again in hopes that they, they will get what they what they wanted the last time and it didn't work. These they're doing they, this is something that's being repeated. Um I said in a reading th that I did, I said that there is a karmic person that's trying to shape shift. Yes, I y'all I'm seeing this so clearly. I can see the thumbnail and everything. You have a karmic masculine for many of you that is trying to shape shift and pretend that they are your divine masculine in hopes of them gaining some type of information. They're trying to come to you like a, this, this, th this person is trying to seduce you. They're coming to you shape shifting as your true divine masculine so that they can get information from you. Because like I said, this person has watched and monitored you from afar this person, they're so obsessed with you and your energy and the fact that what they're doing against you isn't working to the point that now this person has tapped into some type of forbidden magic, some heavy illusion, black magic or something where they are shape shifted. This person literally is, is attaching themselves to another person so that they can get in your space, in your place, in your energy. Be very careful of who you talk to who you allow in your space and what you say. Some of you, there's a something being attached to a person 
in your life or who's in your energy because there is a spiritual like spy or a hacker here that is trying to come around you as another person so like you're looking at the person in front of you but energetically they're actually somebody else or someone is a i don't know what type of monitoring spirit this is like um uh, someone who has casted or conjured up um a spirit and i i have a reading about that too it's probably over like last three to six months where i said for some of you you have a past life soulmate who has conjured up like a spiritual spouse they've conjured up like a a, a demon or a dark entity and attached it to someone that is perhaps around you to gather information and to block you i've talked about that a lot spiritual spouses you may find your, like someone has pretty much married you in the spirit to some type of entity it's coming in and it's causing all of this chaos this conflict the separation the isolation and everything else someone has in the spirit possibly tried to put you in a union with an entity so you could have seen something in your dreams or whatever um you could have you know slept with someone in your drink had eaten drink something Someone has entered you into some type of covenant or agreement. That's why last week I was saying you're going to have to renounce yourself from agreements that you've made knowingly or unknowingly. Because some of you in the dream state, somebody has pretty much like forced you into a union with some type of past life um, soulmate or like a spiritual spouse, but they have they're controlling this entity so that yes okay spirit they're controlling this entity to make this entity hurt you uh and cause chaos and conflict i hope that i hope this makes sense this is really really um deep it's dark it's heavy but to me the energy is not really heavy because of the level of awareness so that lets me know that for those people who are going through this, you know that something is not right. And that in itself cancels stuff out. That means that you're already seeing behind the veil. And so whatever is being done, it's automatically trapping and transmuting this energy. Somebody here who I'm telling you, you guys are connected to someone who is an extremely skilled magician. And this person, they know much more than the average magician knows this person is probably someone who's very egotistical entitled and flamboyant because of the the level of knowledge that they have when it comes to this forbidden magic this forbidden magic like they are considered the best of the best because nobody knows what they know this person is working with um this person they could be a medium this person works a lot with spirits necromancy and stuff like that they work a lot with spirits so you don't see depending on if you know how tapped in you are spirit you may not you don't see or hear or know when these spirits are around you but this person they're conjuring up a lot of different dark spirits to come towards you so this person they're sending you like the spirit of uh, jezebel incubus succubus, succubus spirits but they're sending you like the spirit of procrastination they're sending you the spirit of fear they're sending all these different spirits to you and this could be a very religious person um i have another reading where i talked about a person who's going to be in a lot of trouble because they have been using the bible to do most of their their casting and conjuring somebody here is even going so far as to go in the bible to find out about some of the evil creatures that were in the bible and they're sending these things towards you like different demonic spirits and entities they're sending these things to you but like i said somebody here is so like they're they're actually very impressed with you that's why they're so obsessed they're like i don't understand how i've managed to rob steal kill and destroy everything in my past using this type of magic they came up against you and it's not working so this person is now shape-shifting their energy to be like so this person is jumping bodies so this this person whoever may be coming around you they are shape-shifting into that person 
so that they can come around you because they need to see for yourself like is there magic working are you down are you out are you confused like they're really trying to see how is it working it's like i'm seeing somebody like you're you're in the hospital and you go into you you go into surgery with your surgeon the person that came and talked to you before you knew there was the person that was doing your surgery and then you come out in the waiting room and all of a sudden they're like oh well we've assigned a different doctor to 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 your case and you're like wait a minute you had all of your pre pre-op visits and everything with one person now all of a sudden there's a new person in the room and you're like wait a minute but you're like in an illusion you're like you're under amnesia so you're like wait a minute you're looking at this person like, okay, they're reading my chart, but you know that's not your doctor. You know, like it's something like that where somebody. So in other, I, I guess what I'm saying, somebody's mask is falling off right before your eyes. Somebody's mask is falling off, and boom, that's that's where they were caught. I have a lot of reasons where I said somebody is going to really get caught up because there's. Whoever, whoever you are, your spiritual eyes, even when this person is cloaked, you can still see them. And that's the problem. Wow. Wow. Even with the cloaking, your level of your, your sight is, it's like on another level. That's what I'm saying. Like this energy, it's, it's an, it's like invisible. So remember I was saying laser focus. Somebody can see what others can't see. Somebody here is using some kind of a cloak of invisibility, but there's still somebody. You, you can never go in the spirit realm or anywhere and think that nobody else has the gift that you have, that nobody else can do what you do. This person has met their match because somebody is jumping around like, oh, yeah, I'm invisible. You can't see me. It's like. A child, you, you ask a kid, like, if you could have a superpower, what would it be? This person has wanted to be invisible. That's what they, they want to be invisible. And I feel like they've done things where they've been, they've managed to do it. They, well, they're, they're making a lot of things happen and they're not being seen. They're not being heard. But they've run up against somebody who also is in the spirit realm who has the same gift or their gift is more advanced. Wow. 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 <laughs> yeah, this person definitely they're they're tap yeah, the sun. The sun came out twice. This is the regular sun and then the sun. Somebody here going back to what I said before. Somebody was born with a gift. Someone made sacrifices for a gift. You can never, ever duplicate or replicate an original. And somebody is so mad, jealous, and envious that they're tracking down this queen of pentacles and they're willing to do whatever it takes to attack this person now, this is the queen of cups here but this person is very much free and liberated and whoever this king of pentacles is this person who uses their money their power their resources or whatever very flamboyant this person here this death card in this deck is saying no matter how wealthy you are no matter how powerful you are you will you will at some point face death there will be an ending. This person here is like, oh, shoot. Because I'm telling you, this person knows their mask fell off. The last time that they did this ritual, somebody either they forgot to do something. I don't feel like they forgot to do something. This person is a creature of habit. King of Pentacles, that's like um, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. I'm getting more Taurus, Virgo energy but this is a creature of habit they don't even capricorn very anal they don't change what they do this person it's not that they change what they did or they forgot what happened is you weren't under the same illusion because energetically you're now able to block that type of energy you can see beyond the veil so even when this person came to you using this same spell 
casting and conjuring, you were you, like laser focused. You zoomed right in on it. You saw them. And that, 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 that pretty much makes everything null and void. You saw them. So it's like somebody in a spirit room, like they keep shooting at you. They, they're shooting and this is like a sniper. You don't see them. But it's always somebody that's like, oh, I know exactly where the bullet came from. And I feel like that's either you or someone protecting you. Somebody's like, yeah, they're right over there. Laser focus. These two owls, I have so many different decorative pieces, but nothing is a mistake or an actual coincidence. Silver and gold, but these two owls, for a lot of you in the spirit, it's you and another person. You're fighting. You and this person both, your target is this, this, uh, this entity, this flamboyant energy that thinks that they're the best. It's time for that person to, to fall. Yeah, because they're coming up against those who are truly chosen. Yeah. Look at these cards. The temperance energy. This is this is energy. This is transmutation. It's alchemy. It's metaphysics. It's having one foot in, one foot out. Somebody here was in the background trying to figure out the best way to shape shift. For some of you, this this could be a feminine energy. This could be a wife, a mother, the a baby's mother that's doing this. This energy, the way it's shape is shifting. This could be a man or a woman doing this, but when you when you talk about spirits, to me, like they don't really have a gender, and a shape shifting spirit can constantly change between genders. This Queen of Cups, you see the Queen of Swords here, the Empress, and then here, there is somebody out here who is getting they're in a lot of trouble because they sent some type of attack towards this Empress. Now, this Empress could be this Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords. Somebody could have thought that they were going up against the Queen of Swords, but this Queen of Cups is someone who can shape shift as well. And it's actually a Queen of Swords. So this person thought that they were going to attack this Divine Feminine, not knowing that they attack this Divine Feminine. Okay, for this spell to work, this Divine Feminine would have had to be in a certain energy, perhaps in an energy where they were very emotional instead of logical. Here's this divine feminine now with this laser focus. She's like, I see straight through you. I'm cutting straight through all of your bull. I'm not in my emotions about you. And like I said, take the devil off the prayer list. I don't care about you at this point. You will meet whoever your maker is if you come against me like this. And this person, that's exactly what they did. They thought it was a game. And they had to F around and find out. <laughs> That's exactly what happened here. Somebody's like, oh, shoot. Yeah, they were found out for sure. Look at this. Because somebody saw through it, this queen of cups looked in the mirror and realized, wait a minute, something is off with the reflection. Somebody was trying to confuse this divine feminine here, this queen of cups, so that they wouldn't see through some type of illusion. So somebody could have been doing a lot of heavy like mirror magic. Or something. I'm telling you, there's a master illusionist here. But this Queen of Cups person woke up just in the nick of time and was like, wait a minute, hold on. Because with this illu this illusion had somebody, had this Queen of Cups with their guard down. Or Queen of Swords. This Queen of Cups said, hold on, let me, let me get up real quick and, and pull my knife out. And look at what we have here, the King of Swords. Like I said. This is a counterpart or just a divine protector that sent you a message and said, hey, look, get out your feelings and pull out the sword. That person, what you see isn't what you're getting. Who you think you're talking to isn't who you're, there's, the cat, there's a copycat here and the obsessed copycat that keeps coming out. But this right here was necessary for you to spiritually rank up. Mm -hmm. Now the time has come where you can rest or it's coming where you don't have to be in the queen of swords energy because the illusion has now come to an end and you can actually be the queen of cups and 
the king of cups. So the queen and the king of swords, there's this, this divine couple for some of you. There's a lot of love between you and this person who is protecting you. It's a very beautiful connection, but due to the illusions that have been casted and, 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 and sent in the, the spirits that have been conjured up, this person has to, you, you have to learn how to detach and be emotionally intelligent and mature enough to know that when these illusions come, you can't get caught with your sword down. So this is also a test for a lot of people where now you are learning. Yeah, this is something that awakens you. You're learning the importance of you have to always keep stay protected. And I, like I always say, what you see isn't always what you get. Nothing is truly as it seems. Nothing is as it seems. This energy is really tricky. This is a trickster spirit. So it's like a person, like I said, they have created some type of an assign. They created and assigned some type of um, dark entity to you, and that dark entity is being controlled by. Th there's a person in the background who has cast it up and conjured up a demon and they're controlling that demon they're telling that demon exactly what to do to hurt you to cause chaos and conflict in your life or maybe even the life of people around you because this demon wants everybody to get away from you so that it can have its way with you wow my god mm. And you got to know, you guys, the type of energy that it takes to do. This is um, some type of very heavy, dark, black magic. Like what this person has had to do to conjure this up. Feminine hater. This person does not like for women. to Like this is someone who has a real problem with like a, you being a feminist. Okay. Um, you being self-sufficient, abundant, independent, this person, they have a real problem. This person has some kind of personal vendetta against certain type of women. Th this is like a, I'm telling you, it's like a, it's a, it's a spiritual hitman. Um, somebody who hates like divine feminines. They hate the fact that you're in a divine feminine energy because, like I said a few days ago, this person or this entity, your principal, whatever this is, is constantly attacking you because you hopped out the matrix. You're not willing to be in, in a karmic energy. You don't want to be in the matrix. So every single time you hop out and you go towards love, your life path, your abundance and Things that are of, of true love and light, you ha you're you battling up against, like I said, this this spiritual spouse, this entity. For some of you, like I said, this is something in the bloodline. You're, you could even be fighting against a person in your bloodline who wants the family to stay in darkness. And here you are being this light being. So you're constantly fighting against this thing. And for a lot of you, I've been saying this, it's very heavy because it's like you and a counterpart. Even if you haven't met this person yet, energetically, you're fighting the same thing. It's the same. Your, your target isn't necessarily a person. It's an energy. So you're both fighting perhaps for, for love, for grace, for forgiveness, for sovereignty. You're trying to heal your bloodline. And you both are probably coming up against this energy of narcissism. That this energy that is just going to drain you of all of your life force energy and your light to use it for something that is dark. So for like if this is a situation you really resonate with you and a counterpart, one of you could be experiencing this a bit more in the actual physical realm while the other is experiencing more in the in the spiritual realm. And I've been saying that for months. There's a lot of divine feminines who are fighting up against entities and principalities, especially in the spirit, because you're dealing with a lot of ancestral things. 
family things because you are the divine feminine with the golden womb you have the fertile soil you have a masculine that needs to bring their seed to you for you to create a generational like like a a, a, a new thing within your bloodline that's healed but they're fighting up against blockages in their physical reality right now so you have masses they're still fighting up against karmics and friends and family and here you are you're battling some type of entity in the spirit sorry guys one second well that that was a phone call so confirmation <laughs> i'm just gonna take that as a as an omen um you're probably about to receive confirmation soon that there's some type of incoming news of something that's going to work in your favor. And this energy keeps like flip-flopping because I kind of feel too that a lot of people who resonate with the whole idea of counterparts as you heal yourself you're healing that other person and you you know it, it doesn't matter if look hating on your successful life choices it doesn't matter if you know them in the physical or not causing unexplained body pain and numbness it says seek someone to perform or learn to do a hex breaking ritual envious of your children or your pregnancy see like i said look here intimacy issues um this is the energy here who does not want you to break a generational curse and have a very gifted child and go into this harvest season that has all of this generational wealth that's promised. Like I said, someone is like tracking and monitoring your growth and your healing because they're they're trying to wait for whenever like you get blessed with something. They want to come in right then and snatch it away. So they, they stay on your heels at all times. You need to be very, very secretive and keep things in your life very private at this time. Because for some of you, th this is actual family members. There are family members who are still, I'm going to say, courted and connected to something very dark in your family tree, in your bloodline. They have the same personal vendetta against you as like that entity that you're fighting against and they may not even be aware of it but it's not for it doesn't matter if they're aware of it if you know that it's there you need to protect yourself because for some of you now this is it's a business it's a child it's a new beginning a marriage something that's coming in and somebody this entity is very angry that you're choosing to bring for a lot of you your family out of darkness you're choosing now to ensure that your family is no longer in poverty. And that means that you have to do everything different from what they did. So we've been seeing the queen of pentacles come out for months now. This could be like a matriarch in the family who feels like you're supposed to date a certain type of person, live a certain type of way, do everything a particular way. But you know, because of your spiritual eyes, that if you go in that same route or direction that they went in, that the family is going to have yet another generation that will be cursed so this is the energy of when you take on the role of being the chosen one the the generational curse breaker you typically will become everyone's enemy too because you're changing everything it's a lot going on here because i'm picking up what's happening with divine feminine masculine and divine uh divine feminine did i just say divine feminine masculine so it's a reason divine feminines and masculines are becoming one what i meant to say is i don't even know what i just said oh jeez. the divine feminine collective is breaking off things in their bloodline and so is the divine masculine collective this is spiritual work being done in the 3D and the 5D. But what it all boils down to is you choosing love. Going against the grain, uh, challenging the status quo, moving away from caste and creed 
because the cast and the creed is keeping a cycle of darkness. It's keeping the poverty. It's keeping the barrenness. It's keeping the family in just in dark, in bondage. And this is probably some kind of deal that was made hundreds, if not thousands of years, lifetimes ago with some type of entity. And it's attacking you now because you're changing. That's why I tell you guys, expand your mind. It's not just about, oh, this karmic in my life, the baby mama, baby daddy drama. Like it's so much bigger than that. When you see those things in your life, it's only a representation of what's actually happening in the spirit. Judging your family background and culture. Maybe you need some black tourmaline to clear and repel negative energy from the body, the home, your work environment. Look, causing you to act out of character, irrational emotions and mood swings. See what this what this um, entity that has been conjured up, what it is doing is it's causing you and people around you to be very irrational. This is, of course, a trick of the enemy to cause you to be isolated. So you will start to have issues and obstacles and challenges and arguments with everybody around you. It's all a part of this, this magic, this illusion, so that you then will pretty much move away from everything and everyone. And like I said, this entity can then have its way with you. So it'll turn you away from a lot of people who may even be good for you because it's to trick you, this energy vampire, it wants you to itself. I'm telling y'all, this is something that's in a lot of people's family. If this is an entity, yeah, always going against you by arguing their point. Never consider it of your, your point of view. For a lot of you, this, this is like I said, and you have to be careful because you will have friends and family who embody this type of energy and they don't know that they do. But even in your family, they carry that same trait. So let's say like you have, um, it doesn't matter. It can be a, a parent, aunt, uncle, whomever, sibling. You're the one that's choosing to understand the importance of you being chosen. You're the black sheep. They keep trying to bring you back to the nest. You have to leave your family behind to go create your own family to build some type of stability and security and a new way of life and then if it's safe you can go back and you can get them they don't want you to leave that's what i'm saying birds of a feather flock together that's why you have to renounce yourself from these bloodline curses and and other things because they feel like where well, you got the same blood pumping through you as me so yeah you should be okay with being in poverty you should be okay with not having love you should be okay with everything that we've been okay with because they have not done the work to actually heal themselves here you are jumping out the matrix like well no i don't think we should do it that way so now the chosen one who was sent to save everyone has now become everyone's biggest enemy that's what this is so it could have been lifetimes ago where someone in your family was either attacked by an entity or they made a sacrifice to some kind of entity. That entity is constantly coming back to collect. And of course, what do you think it wants? It wants the chosen one. That entity is like, no, I want this family to stay in darkness. So I need to get rid of the one that is chosen. Hmm. This is being eliminated. And for, for those, if it's not necessarily just family, because all of this stuff is connected. If you have this type of energy in your family, your romantic partners, the karmic partners in your life, they're going to attach to that energy within your family. Because again, you're a part of the covenant, knowingly or unknowingly, you were born into Let's say a very narcissistic family. So all you attract is narcissists. You're like, well, how is it that I'm so light and I'm, I'm all love and I'm an empath and I'm a high priestess? Well, you were born into a covenant of narcissists. So in the spirit, everybody that comes towards you, they think you're a narcissist. You're, you're carrying the same signature, the, the, the same DNA, the, the energetic signature of something that you don't agree with. You're going to have to break that. Whew. Ace of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. This is the Angel Tarot deck. 
Ace of Pentacles in the world. Yep. King of Wands, Three of Wands, Ace of Wands. Beautiful. The Magician. That's the message. Ace of Pentacles. Brand new beginning here. And look at that big eye. This is you being awarded something with your sight. But you have divine blessings. This says here drives away evil spirits. Your eyes have laser focus. They can see spirits and energies and entities that most people can't see. So you're battling up against some type of entity now that has a very a superpower of being invisible. Even people with spiritual eyes don't typically see this entity. And if you want to bring it back just a little bit more common, I'm going to say on a 3D level, this is just a person who is extremely manipulative, who never gets, they never get caught. You just so happen to be the one to call this person out. Like, no, I see you're a master manipulator. And they're like, oh my gosh, me? Yes, you. You're calling people out. This is simply you having a third eye activation, but it's driving away all the spirits because if you want to really uh, pretty much banish it, all you need is the gift of sight. Because once that's why people attack chosen ones so much, because if you see it, how can you get away with it? It's being seen. It's illuminated. It's exposed. The world card is here. It says fountain of wisdom. So your gift here is the wisdom you're being giving this wisdom, this um, spiritual gift, the foresight, the wisdom. You, you're wise enough because of your experiences to see. This is also the wisdom of you saying, perhaps I don't want to be like my friends and my family. So God is showing you certain things or allowing you supernatural abilities to see in the spirit to see what's going on behind the scenes so that you don't get caught up because again they're creating illusions so in the 3d everything looks okay they're actually <laughs> trying to destroy you right there in your face so as they as they laugh and smile they're trying to destroy you king of wands gives answers to those in doubt it says, and then the three of wands. So for a lot of you, there could be a king of wands in your life, or this is just your energy right now of you being, um, this says, um, for the king of wands, God, the merciful judge, you're judging the situation after assessing and evaluating, but you understand that it's not for you to condemn anyone. You're not God, but you can assess and evaluate the situation. And now you can, with laser focus, you can see, oh no, I don't need to talk to you. I don't need to go to that place. I don't need to hang out with that group. It's time for you to live a set apart life because as a king of wands, that means that you're now becoming a leader. There's a torch being handed to you. That's the reason why I, and I said this about a month ago, I said they're about to bring out the worst of the worst in this spiritual battle because I knew it was an upgrade coming. You have to slay this beast, this demon, this whatever. You have to slay it. And they brought out the best of the best. And what they did is they brought out an entity that is invisible, even in the spirit. So something that you had to be activated so that you could see it. If not you, your counterpart was able to see it. The three of wands. The three of wands is your ships coming in. And it says protection from adversaries. So somebody was, again, the gift of sight. Somebody could see Laser focus. Listen, it's like somebody telling you, OK, listen, you, you go up the, up the block, you, you take a left, you, 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 you cross the tracks. When you cross the tracks, I want you to look to the left. It's going to be a demon right there. You, you were given the foresight, the awareness that you needed to conquer this. And even if you did not get it, something came out the, the, right when you got to the tracks, the train. I'm, this is what I'm saying in my head, y'all. The train came and it stopped you from crossing the tracks. By the time the train had passed and you could cross, the demon wasn't there anymore. So there, there's, there's divine intervention here to ensure that you could break this hex or this curse and move on to something new. Ace of Wands, something new. And the magician moving on to what you've been trying to manifest for so long. Fertility and mul it says fertility and multiplicity, ace of wands, pa passion, desire, new beginning. 
and the magician. This is you. Like I said, you're being given the torch. You've been given the one. You now are crowned with glory as the one with the Midas touch. But there was divine intervention here. So you need to thank God, your lucky star. What You need to give a lot of praise and thanks for being able to defeat this. Because now you've tapped into some type of spiritual wisdom and magic that allows you to discover hidden secrets. So you have pretty much like taken down a huge like magician or like a, a magician that works with a lot of entities because this is forbidden magic. This is this is like a magician who is a, is a, a mastermind at conjuring up demons. Like what I'm seeing this person do is they go into your mind and they, they assess and evaluate. They find all of your pain points. They find all of your weaknesses. They go into your Akashic records and they literally they create a demon just for you. That's what I'm saying. They will create. A, a, an entity, a demon that is just for you. And it is meant to poke. And every single pain point that you have to have you in total agony to the point that you will just surrender. And if they can do that to you long enough, the windows of opportunity for you to have the new beginning, it'll pass. You will be crippled with pain and with fear and with agony. This did not happen this time. The four of cups. They wanted you to miss an opportunity, but instead you were forced to go in and heal yourself. So you were protected from all of the weapons that were formed and, and sent to hurt you. And now you have the chariot, the eight of wands, the two of cups, the chariot, the eight of wands, the two of cups. You're going into a union, a very, very significant partnership. You're going into union also with God. Because the demonic stronghold that has been over your life or constantly trying to re-enter your life or insert itself into your life. You're getting so close to God now with the chariot, the eight of wands, the two of Like you're going, okay. You can look at my community post where I had the card, no place like home. It was the coffin. The magician card was cut in half. It was no place like home. The coffin. It was some other card. I think it was the loyal heart card. There's a generational hex or curse. For some, there's a partnership where all ties have finally been severed. That's why you have to renounce yourself from some type of covenant. So for many people, you've been in a covenant with something dark unknowingly. This is God coming in right now saying you're back at home with me now. Because your life has been, okay, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm following God. I'm doing everything right. I'm living this set apart life. But like I said, birds of a feather flock together. You were in covenant with something, your family, a lover or someone that was tied to something dark that was dimming your light. You didn't know it. So something had to come in to switch the light on to show you, hey, it's that thing over there that you didn't see before. That is the reason why you're not getting as close to God and your own person. You're not having your own personal glory because you have some type of demonic stronghold and entity or whatever that is cloaking itself. It's running around you all the time and you're not seeing it. King of Cups. Like I said, the king of cups and the devil is here. And here's the four of wands. I feel like for some of you, again, someone, they, they had you in some type of union with this. The king of cups and the devil. This is a, an extreme, an extremely seductive mastermind. Someone who. Their knowledge, their awareness about psychology and seduction, it is, it's unmatched. You most likely, this is some type of soul tie 
with a person who is housing an entity or they're conjuring up entities. This something about this, it was, it's hidden. Um, six of swords and then the five of pentacles. You're moving on a peaceful common waters because now you can see the demon on this person or you see who's sending the demons. This card says the um, forbearing God, five of pentacles, patience, reveals secrets of nature, spreads knowledge and industry. A lot of you too, you're a high priest, high priestess. You had to go through this, like I said, to rank up. This now is a part of your testimony. So this is all about you getting closer to God, God giving you certain gifts, talents, and abilities, or increasing them, allowing you to go through the midnight hour to get closer to him. And now to go and share your story as part of your testimony about the goodness of God in your life and the favor that he's shown because this is God literally sending all of his angels to cover you. Psalms 91, 10,000 may fall, but nothing will touch you. Okay. That's what this is. So I know it for a lot of people, myself included, it has been very difficult, especially the last few weeks, the last few months, the last few years. But if you've been doing the work and you truly know who God is, this is being cleared up. This will just be a part of a testimony that is going to lead more people to God. This is God saying, you're returning home. You are now sovereign and free. And I don't know because I haven't thrown it away, but if you follow my channel and I showed you guys how the magician card broke in half and I've had that deck for a long time now, here it is. I kept I kept the card. I'm going to probably throw the deck out. Um, if you notice here, the magician, this is someone here again. The magician is all elements. OK, earth, air, fire, water. This magician here, the cup is cut off in his hands here. This is a lot of um, that's like fire. And here you have the swords and the cauldron. The cup here is cut. Somebody has not been able to attach to you. This is another somebody they could not attach to you. Emotionally to be able to pull your energy to make something work. So this person. And this cat is here. This person is shape shifting. They're using a lot of energy manipulation. And they're using your emotions, your fire, your passion, your emotions, you know, solar plexus, sacral chakra. But you see how on the table is the pentacle and the two of swords here. There was something that God gave you that, that, that was of great value. And again, the king and the queen of swords. Because there is a union happening here. You and your counterpart, you were giving something tangible that stopped and blocked this person energetically. And it was a gift that you were given spiritually, but for some of you, even something in the, in, in the physical realm here, in the 3D, it stopped somebody. So, you know, a lot of people, if they're, if they're hacking their spine or whatever, some, some, somebody's well went dry is what this is. They can't see you. They can't touch you. They don't know where you are. You're off the grid. Whatever it is. Like I said, that train came through and it stopped. It's like you were told exactly where to go. And they knew where you were going. And then, boom, you got stopped at the tracks. And you probably thought, oh, my gosh, here I go once again being stopped, being blocked. Something always comes through to, to just railroad my life. No. That train saved you. This, this, this. Um, this setback or whatever is happening in your life, it saved you because right across the track, like I said, to the left, it was a demon waiting on you. You got saved by the bell. So if this resonates, you won.
Congratulations. You made it. Two of Swords. You were at the track. You had to decide where you're going to keep going. Being a part of this covenant that you probably didn't even know you were a part of. Because of some type of soul tie or a generational hex or curse. Or were you going to go back home to God? A lot of you made it. But a lot of you have people in your life. They jump the tracks. Now they have to deal with their demon that's over there to the left. And there's nothing you can do. Do not be, do not be afraid to live a set apart life. We're shifting into a God consciousness. The people who want to still deal with the devil, that's all they know because they were not born with what you were born with. They made sacrifices to get only half of what you have naturally. You cannot duplicate or replicate the energy of someone who is truly divine. There's a lot when it comes to the, the magic and the manipulation. The look, there's a lot of things that people have been doing that has always worked. But because of the shift in the energy, it doesn't work anymore. And you cannot cheat the system. And you certainly cannot affect a person that's not even in the system. I said this a few weeks ago. I said a lot of, well, actually last week, your grandfather in. If you go to a cell phone company and you tell them and they bring up a plan and they see that your bill is $50 a month when everybody else's is $100 a month and they're like, I don't understand. You know what they said? Well, it looks like you were grandfathered into a plan. You cannot tamper with somebody that's already grandfathered in. You cannot tamper with God's chosen. You cannot. Your grandfather in, even if you unknowingly ended up in some, see, somebody has done something to twist your fate and your will because you would not have ever gone into covenant with something dark. So somebody decided to use magic and spirits and, and everything else to get you into a covenant. Thinking that it was going to ruin you and you were saved by the bell. Something came in. It could have been my, my reading or other readers that said, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Something is trying to pull you to the dark side. And this person has been shape-shifting, coming into your energy. Trying to get you to go in a direction that you're not supposed to go in on purpose. Because they already saw you. Like I said, they already knew that you was right about to cross that track. So they set up a trap for you. But there was a trap. There was another trap set before you got to their trap. They forced you to stop. Let me tell you one thing that people don't realize about magic. I don't care how long you work on magic, like energy. You have to keep putting energy into magic. It will eventually wear off. And somebody has been doing this over and over and over again. They already tried it, but they tried it again. But this time they thought that you were in a box. But like Houdini, you vanished. You're not even in the box. This could be a situation where somebody was sending, was sending magic um, to a home or a car, a device. You don't even have it anymore. So it doesn't work. You're not in that container. Because I keep seeing somebody in like a, a, a glass. They got you in a container. I don't know if somebody put, did a jar spell or whatever. It's like you're not even anymore. anymore. The, the jar is cracked. It, it, it's gone. Somebody threw it. I don't know. It just doesn't work. If they're sending magic to your house, it's like you're not even at their house. They're sending magic to your car. You're in a rental car right now. It, it's that type of like somebody's plan just went wrong. Because there's many aspects and elements of this plan that a person they just cannot control. And that's when you get a narcissist all messed up. A narcissistic creature of habit. Because once they find something that works, they stick to it.
if they can't study you, if they can't control you, their plan can never work. That's the reason why I told you weeks ago, spiritual restraining orders. Stop hanging out with these people because a lot of them, they're agents of the devil. They're watching your every move because they're waiting to see. They're, they're, they're tracking your GPS. They want to know when are you going to cross their track because they got something waiting on you. I know I'm rambling now, but some of you, you need to be real careful telling people your every move. Every single time you have an idea, some people, I see them, they get in the car. As soon as they get in the car, in the car, they on the phone. You on the phone with your mama, sister, brother, cousin, and you telling them everything that you're doing. You don't know that that person, some of them without even, they themselves don't even know that they're being used by the enemy. Because when the enemy is having a difficult time getting to you, they will use every single person around you to take you down. If you stop telling people all your business, all of your dreams and your goals, they cannot shoot it down. Some of you need to just be quiet. You better learn how to talk to yourself and God. Because somebody had a very elaborate plan here. For some, this is even a situation of trafficking. Because I'm, it's something very significant about containers and cars. Somebody, they, 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 they were planning to have you locked away and transported somewhere. And thank God you did not show up at the location when they had hoped that you would. Remember, this is past, present, or future. For some, this is already past. For some, you need to still be careful. I love you guys all very much. Always go with the answer that you never go without. What breaks the heart will fix your vision. I don't want to stay in this energy much longer, but some of you, congratulations. Some of you, it's a warning. I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.